Bowel repair and to end anastomosis is the topic of our discussion today. When is there increased chance of bowel injury? Bowel can get injured due to surgeon related factors such as inexperience or in complicated abdominal surgeries with adherence. The injury could be a result of direct injury during laparoscopic port insertion or during handling the bowel with the instruments. What is the clinical presentation of a patient with bowel injury? The clinical features include persistent focal abdominal pain with abdominal distension, diarrhea, and leukopenia. The different types of bowel anastomosis include end-to-end anastomosis, side-to-side anastomosis, end-to-side pouch formation plus anastomosis. Now we will discuss the steps of bowel repair by end-to-end anastomosis. First of all, take care of aseptic measures. Do gowning and gloving by using appropriate technique. In order to increase the lumen diameter, the bowel segment is incised on the antimesenteric border to create a larger spatulated edge. Before starting the repair, stay sutures are taken at mesenteric borders. After that, interrupted sutures are taken along the border of the cut ends of the bowel. The sutures are placed at distances of 3 to 4 mm. Once one side of the bowel is repaired, the bowel is then turned to the other side. The other side of the bowel is repaired as well. Now rotate the bowel back and tie stay sutures on the both ends. If there are enough gaps between the sutures, those must be secured. There are many factors which can affect anastomosis site healing or leakage, for example, intraoperative contamination, circulation of intestinal bones, anemia, surgical technique, the type of surgery which can be elective or emergency, tension in suture line. A meticulous effective anastomosis technique is necessary to optimize surgical outcome and minimize anastomotic complications. The principle of successful intestinal anastomosis include these factors. Well-nourished patient with no systemic illnesses, no contamination in the gut or in the peritoneal cavity, adequate, adequate exposure and access, especially in case of the laparoscopic surgery. Well-vascularized tissues, absence of tensions at anastomosis, meticulous technique, Surgeon factors. Everyone has varying leak rates. Technical factors include adequate blood supply, tension-free, minimized contamination, meticulous technique. There are certain patient-related factors which can affect the bowel healing and those include the malnourishment, the chronic steroid use, diabetes mellitus, malignancy, prior chemoradiation, hypertension and shock, and emergency surgery. Here we have features of ideal anastomosis. First feature is zero leak rate. Secondly, it should promote early recovery of the function. It should not narrow the lumen of the viscous. There should be no vascular compromise at the incised and or divided margin of the viscous. Easy to learn, teach and perform. Technique should preferably be quick to perform. Here we have different types of anastomosis based on the orientation. Those include end-to-end, end-to-side and side-to-side anastomosis. Here on the basis of techniques, the different types of anastomosis can be hand seam or stepper which can be linear or circular. On the basis of layer, the different types of anastomosis can be single layer or the double layered. Single layered can be interrupted, seromucosal, and the absorbable suture is used. The double layer can be outer seromuscular, interrupted, and non absorbable suture is used. Inner full thickness is taken, or the continuous sutures are taken. While doing bi- bowel repair, it's very important to know about its anatomy. This is the serosal layer, this is the muscular layer, the submucosa, mucosa, and here we have the suture line, and here we have the bowel lumen. Now, early diagnosis of the bowel injury is very important. It's because the later the diagnosis, the higher the morbidity and mortality associated with the bowel injury will be there. Secondly, the time of recognition is variable and that depends on the type. Small bowel takes 4 days for recognition and the colon about 5.5 days.
the clinical presentation ranges from septic shock to localized abscess so thank you so much that was all about bowel injuries and repair subscribe on obs and gyne allah hafiz